Knitting might seem like something your grandmother or mother would do, but the craft actually has all kinds of fans. Yeah, and some even say it comes with unexpected mm -hmm. benefits, as our Chris Holmstrom shows us. An unlikely pastime with an even more unlikely cheerleader. David Orozco says knitting and crocheting combats a common condition affecting more than 8 million Americans. He's been at it a while, a long while. I've been knitting since I was nine or so. That's 60 years, give or take. He puts the craft in arts and crafts with incredibly intricate creations. I've been working on this project on and off for 10 years or more. More than a decade. Who knows how many hours? And the stitch count? Hundreds of thousands. Talk about passion, and he's not alone. This is a hat that I'm knitting for my granddaughter. That's Karen Tanaka. She and David met at the North Figueroa Bookstore in Highland Park, but not really by accident. My son came here and he saw people knitting. It's called the Knitting Circle, and you can hear they're not exactly using their library voices. David asked if the store would host a group of strangers for what's become a unique social event. We don't talk about knitting, really. Um, uh, what do you talk about? A lot of L.A. history. Uh, the Knitting Circle meets every other Wednesday and is getting, you knew this was coming, pretty tight knit. Because we've all become friends. This is not separate from this site. It's connected. But for David, this isn't just a hobby. It's a treatment for undiagnosed ADHD as a child. 60 years ago, we had no choice but to assimilate. His grandmother had the idea, use yarn to keep his hands busy and mind focus. It worked. According to the CDC, one in 10 kids is diagnosed with ADHD today. When David was growing up, practically no one was. Then came this creative solution with a welcome side effect. Lots of fabrications, but most don't take 10 years to make. David's taken out a piece of quirky homemade art. Why is this still so much fun so many years later? Because I can watch TV while I do it. Two pastimes in one. That is the answer. Now the Audubon Society gets to benefit. These birds will be added to their David collection. They might be gifts, but David says he's the one who's been gifted a lifetime of comfort, thanks to one really smart grandmother way back in the 1960s. Chris Holmstrom, KCAL News.